You're looking forward to tomorrow night? Yeah. What are you doing tomorrow night? Playing at Parker's Wine Bar. Somewhere in town. For 40 quid. Does any of the members of your family play? Yeah, all my family's always played both sides. My dad played saxophone. Both my uncles sort of mess about. Their father was a professional musician playing piano and trombone. My mother's dad played saxophone. Both my grandpas played. One of them was a band leader and the other one played double bass. I think my great grandpa played as well. It's all bits falling off this engine. Why do I come busking? Right, lots of reasons. Because I want the money. And because I enjoy playing to people. And because there's just no coverage for the sort of music that I like and that I play. Jazz, I suppose, you know, and I don't really like the term. And I uh, feel it's just a really good way. I mean, it's a good way of get, it's a good way for everybody, you know, live music in general. If it's on the street, then people can have a chance to see it and like, participate in it. Yeah, well, I mean, I'd like it if there were. I wish there were more, but it's so difficult, especially in Leeds. The police are awful, you know. For some reason, they just really got it in for street musicians. Why, why should the police in there? Well, quite, yeah, you know, but they do. Why should I've been in, been in, I've had 39 court appearances because of it, and I mean, I just won't stop it. I decided not to, in a whim, you know, it's a nice day. But they would arrest me normally. Then, I mean, they just let me keep on playing, which is most unusual for them. I mean, if they don't arrest me, they always move me on. I've never seen that before. It's been because you were there. Then that woman came who's moved me on before. I mean, they seem, they seem all right when it's sunny, you know. They charge you with begging under this crazy vagrancy act, like it was in about maybe in the 1820s or something, for people in the Napoleonic Wars who come back with like, arms and legs chopped off after this country sent them to fight. And they wouldn't let them beg for money, you know. But they ain't begging. Uh, and an obstruction. They do you for obstruction, which they, they throw out as well, you know. And that's when I was busking in Burnley, and these guys came up wrote this stupid thing about me. I mean, it says all oh, this garbage, like, that's the press. <laughs> it doesn't pay too well, said Matthew. That's why a bit extra from Buskin comes in handy. <laughs> what's, what's this, what's this? Me, when I was 15. <laughs> I used to go potholing. <laughs> is that any more, Yeah, this is one. Look at this. 
when the, the grammar's all wrong as well. At 5.25pm on Tuesday the 19th of February 1980, you caused an obstruction in Commercial Street, Leeds 1, in that you were stood on the corner of this street playing a saxophone. <laughs> this is Sheffield, they always give you these pretty pink ones, look. Just obstruction, that was when I, they said I had about 500 people blocking this subway up. But it was rubbish, there's only about 250. There, here's another one. Look at this. On 20th of June 1980 at Huddersfield, did blow a musical instrument. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. That was really good. That was Huddersfield. They got thrown out of court and they gave me two and a half quid to go home. There, yeah, look, charged with busking. That's the only place you can get done for busking, Huddersfield, under the Huddersfield Improvement Act of 1871. <laughs>